Today, we're excited to launch Langraph Templates, the easiest way to get started building Agentic applications. Langraph is our low-level, highly controllable Agentic framework, and Langraph Templates are reference architectures built on top of it. What you're looking at here is Langraph Studio, a way to visualize, run, and eventually deploy Langraph applications. You have your projects here on the left, but on the right, and this is new in the newest version, you have these templates. These are reference architectures for getting started with common cognitive agent architectures. If we click into one, let's click into Langraph React Agent template, we can see a bunch of things are happening. First, we have this readme on the right. This walks through what this template does and provides more information. We then have the URL to the GitHub repo where this template is stored. So if you want to check it out and see the source code there, you absolutely can. You then choose a folder to install this agent in. And so you can choose any folder in your file system, and then you go about configuring this agent. So as part of the template, you choose the model that you want to work with. So we have Anthropic models and OpenAI models, and we'll be adding more over time. So let's choose Sonnet here. And then I add in the environment variables that are needed for this template. So here we're using Tavili as a search engine. So I need to add in an API key there. We're using Anthropic as a model. We need to add in that there. Let's say we add in those environment variables. We can then clone this template and start. And what this does under the hood is it pulls down the GitHub repo into your local file system. So it makes a clone of it there and then it launches it in Langraph Studio. The reason we've chosen to do templates this way is that by cloning it into your file system, it makes it super easy to modify the source code of the underlying agent. So one of the benefits of Langraph is it's so low level, and we didn't really want to add higher level abstractions that would hide all those details from the user. That's kind of what Langchain was when it started, and it made it really hard to customize the internals. So with templates, we pull down the code, and that way you can customize the internals to your heart's delight. So it's a really easy way to customize these starting points. I'm gonna stop this here and I'm gonna go back so we can see the other architectures and the other templates that we can choose from. We have one that's just an empty project. This is great for getting started if you wanna start with an empty slate and build your agent from scratch. The data enrichment template is a template that does web research and fills out information about a particular topic. The React agent template we already saw, it's a very general cognitive architecture that basically calls tools in a loop until it's done. And then we have a retrieval agent in here as well, which uses a vector store to do retrieval over documents of your choosing. We're starting with these four, really three templates, but we're going to add more over time. We want to keep it a small number of highly focused and high quality templates. And these are available in Python as well as TypeScript. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out. We're really excited about this. We think this is a great way to get started building Langraph applications. Cheers.